The district-level elections kicked off Tuesday morning in more than 6,000 polling stations across the country. More than 57,000 candidates are participating in this year's elections and are seeking to be elected either as assembly members or unit committee members. The exercise has since its inception in 1998 recorded low voter turnouts as many citizens expressed little or no interest in the exercise. The highest voter turnout was recorded in 1998, where 41.7% of the total registered voters turned out to vote. In spite of the election receiving massive publicity this year, the exercise may again record low turnout, with many voters expressing low interest in the exercise. Okay, we are expecting two, um, 297 people, but so far we have gotten only 15. But some, they are still coming one by one. But according to my, invest, my small investigation around this place, they, they, most of them have gone to the market and they'll be coming here from 233 going. That's where they'll be coming in their numbers. But I don't know whether it's true or not, so we are still waiting to see. I'm expecting 520, but 59 has come and cast their votes for now. Alright, so you are going to close the post at exactly five. Uh, are you expecting more people? Yes, I am really expecting more people. The uh, total number of uh, registered voters for this polling station is 489. But as it stands now, we only have 32 people coming in to vote, to cast their vote. The exercise began around 20 past seven. Let's say some few minutes after seven. Yes, it's okay. I understand that uh, total number of registered voters are 295 so far, only 28. 28. Uh, how, I mean, what, what is happening? Um, we are looking at, you know, today is a working day. So some of these things is prone to happen. Yeah, if it was actually a holiday or something, I think the turn up would have been much greater. In spite of the low turnout, agents for some of the aspiring members are confident of securing victory by close of polls. My name is Edwin Waku. I'm representing uh, Abu Moro. Okay. Are you the only only agent here? Uh, no, I'm not the only agent here. How many How many of you are here so far? We are two. Where is the other person? I can't see him or her. She is the one, like my opponent. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, how 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 has the exercise been for you so far? Everything is going on well, as from the beginning when we came. This place has been absolutely normal, yeah. So tell us, how competitive do you find this race? <laughs> oh, for that one day, uh, we leave that to God. We are just waiting for the final judgment for the day. But how confident are you? Are you confident you are going to win? For sure. For sure. For I mean, what, what what's the motivation? Why are you saying so? Oh, because I know my uh, my candidate, yeah. That is why I have, I have this full vim that he's going to win. I'm Josephine Hudson and I'm representing Abdul Razak. What was he contesting? Assemblyman. Uh, Malamata electoral area. In terms of turnout, are you, are you satisfied with the number of people trooping in? Uh, not really, but we are hoping that they will, they will come. All right, so in terms of mobilizing people to come and vote, how, how did you do yours? How, how did you do it? It appears a lot of people don't seem interested in this. How did you whip up support? <laughs> um, well, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, we, we did more education. We went house by house calling them, but I don't know. They are, and the thing is, most of them came around seven and we were not ready, so they went back. They said they will come back, so we are hoping. Mm -hmm. So are you confident you are going to win this race? Yes, very. Where lies your strength? What was what, what your source of inspiration? <laughs> Most of my people are coming out and seeing them, so I know we will win. Now, this is a Salam Dal electoral area, and I'm contesting the unit committee member. Right. So, so far, how is the process faring for you? How successful has it been for you? It's been successful, but just that the turnout is very low. A lot of people are not coming out to vote compared to the normal elections. But the assembly election, normally we know it's low, but this time it's very low. 
but the place is successful. Everything is moving on smoothly. That's it. Is. So is it your first time contesting? No. The last four years, I won the unit committee. So that's my second time contesting as a unit committee member. Yeah. All right, so it appears that as unit committee members, you are not known to the voters. Uh, what accounts for this? Uh, when you ask them, they tell you, yes, we know the assemblyman, but you need committee members, we don't know them at all. Is, is, is that the same in your case? In this case, it's yes, it's no. Yes, in a way that a lot of people have moved from the area they have now relocated to other places. So coming around, they don't know, unless someone that knows you around. But in this case, yes, they know us because we've been able to go around. We are saying as a unit committee member, as assembly member, you should be a member, someone who is in the area. So you should be able to know everybody in the area. I know your place, I know this person's place. That would help. But coming out, they know us. With this area, they know the unit committee members. But just that it's a little education that has been worrying them. Some decide to vote for two and three, but we try to tell them it's five people. Voting is expected to close at exactly 5 p.m. The exercise generally has been peaceful. However, it appears that the exercise, once again, may suffer low turnout, as it appears that, that a large number of people have still not cast their votes. However, many aspirants are confident of securing victory in spite of low turnout. Reporting for ABC News, I am Edward Aqua.